name is Emma Bland Smith. I'm a children's book author, and today I'm going to read to you my latest picture book. This is Odin, Dog Hero of the Fires. It's from West Margin Press, and it's beautifully illustrated by Carrie Salazar. Odin was almost three years in the making, and it's a very personal story for me. So I'm just so delighted and proud that it's finally out in the world. So lean back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the story. These are the opening end papers and all the goats and animals are labeled. We've got Aurora, Jack Sparrow, Amon Ra, Tinkerbell, Daryl, Peaches, Jojo, Dixon, and of course, Odin and Tessa. Darkness sets in. I take over for my sister. Woof! Your turn to sleep, Tessa. I'm on guard duty now. Good boy, Odin. Roland pats me and heads into the house. Ariel says good night to the goats, and to me, too. See you tomorrow, Odin. She kisses me right on my nose. I lick her face, and she laughs. The goats drift off to sleep, and I lie next to them, my nose and ears alert. I am a working dog. I must protect my goats. It is a hot, dry night, and windy, so windy. I get to my feet. The swing under the trees jerks wildly. Something is not right. A light goes on in the farmhouse window. I smell smoke. The fur on my back stands up straight. I check on the goats, all eight of them. Peaches snuffles in her sleep. Jojo opens one eye. They are safe, for now. I hear a thump on the roof. What is Roland doing up there? He points down toward the valley and my heart drops. The sky is glowing orange. Fire! Roland yells, Ariel, get the animals! Ariel runs toward the truck, carrying the cat and leading Tessa. Odin, come, Roland shouts. He tries to drag me, to push me, but I plant myself firmly. I swallow and back away, trembling. No, I won't go. I am a working dog. I won't leave my goats. Roland drops his head for a moment, then climbs into the truck. Tears glisten on Ariel's face. Tessa jumps in and barks to me that she will keep our people safe. I watch as the truck lights disappear into the darkness. I have never spent a night away from Tessa. Roland and Ariel are my family, too. I whine softly. Crash! The noise makes me jump. The barn roof collapses. Boom! A propane tank explodes near the house. The air shimmers with heat. It is overwhelming. I pant, trying to cool down. The goats are awake now, their eyes wide with alarm. Jack Sparrow pushes close to me. Tinkerbell nuzzles my neck. They clump tightly behind me, scared, waiting for my direction. The flames are moving fast, coming for us. Where can I take the goats? How can I keep them safe? Glowing embers skitter across the field. I yelp as they burn my whiskers. Roland left the gate open. I sprint through it. Bad idea. The yard is in flames. The enormous maple tree crackles and roars. Fingers of flame streak out of the farmhouse windows. I run back through the gate and turn in a circle. All around, everywhere, the sky is red. Something catches my eye. The rocks! On top of the hill, they tower above the ground, safe from fire, at least for now. That is where we need to go. I bark orders. Come on, Daryl. Faster, Aurora. Stay close, Amon Ra. We dart through smoldering ashes. I step on red-hot cinders and pain sears my foot. Limping, I carry on. The goats scamper easily over the hot ground, their feet protected by hooves. Whoosh! A burning branch blows in front of us. The goats scatter. Dixon bleats and licks his burnt shoulder, but there is no time to stop. I bark encouragement. Hurry, hurry, the fire is coming. Finally, we arrive at the rocks. Will we be safe here? I'm not sure, but it's our best option. My pulse slows as we settle down. From atop the rocks, I can see that the fire has come up from the valley and burned everything in its way. The house, the barn, the pump house, the sheds, everything is on fire. 
As the night wears on, I watch as the flames die down, leaving piles of smoldering ashes. Then the sun rises, and I stare in astonishment. The fire has passed, but it has eaten a giant path. Many trees are still burning or are gone. The air is thick with smoke and dust. I sneeze and blink. With my whiskers gone, I can't keep the dirt out of my mouth and eyes. I ache from tiredness, but I am a working dog. I won't sleep until my goats are safe. A long, lonely day passes by. Baby deer, separated from their mothers, take refuge with us. At night, the animals sleep while I stand guard. My eyes water from the smoke and hunger claws at my stomach. Where can my people be? And then, just when I think I cannot stand for one more moment, I hear a noise. A motor. Is it my people? A car door slams. I race up the rocks so I can see. It's Roland. He runs towards me. He looks as tired as I am. Odin, Roland cries. You're alive. I can't believe it. The goats follow me, and the skittish fawns run away. Roland's eyes widen. You're all alive, he marvels. My legs give out, but my tail doesn't. And as Roland hugs me tight, I wag it harder than I ever have before. Odin, you did it, says Roland. You saved the goats. Now relax. Just relax. Let me take care of you. And this time, I obey. Later, when it is safe, the rest of my family returns. Tessa runs in circles around me. Ariel hugs me and whispers, I'm so proud of you, Odin. I lick her face and she laughs. The goats crowd around us, nuzzling. Where is Roland? I turn to see him, looking at the property. In his eyes, there is something new, hope. We'll rebuild, he says quietly. We're together, and this is all that matters to me. So that's the end of the story. In the author's note, I talk about how I first learned about Odin and the adventure my own family had the day those terrible fires started, October 8, 2017. At the bottom, you can see a before and after of the Hendel's home. On the other page, at the top, there is Ariel bottle feeding the baby goats. She and her dad adopted them when they were only hours old. Below that, you'll see Odin and Tessa as adorable puppies. And below that, there's Odin after being reunited with his family. He lost all his whiskers and his fur was singed, but for the most part, he was absolutely fine. On the next page, I list some interesting facts that I learned about this breed of dog. I'll share them with you. Great Pyrenees were bred to be livestock guardian dogs. Patient but strong-willed, their instinct is to be nurturing to vulnerable animals. Originally, they were owned by shepherds in the mountains of Spain and France. The Marquis de Lafayette first brought them to the United States in 1824. They have white shaggy fur, grow to 110 pounds, and live to 12 years. They are nocturnal by nature, making them excellent watchdogs. They are loving, loyal, and kind, and they make wonderful pets. To research this story, I got to visit Roland and Ariel's ranch and meet the animals themselves. We had such fun. Here, it's hard to tell where one dog ends and the other begins, but this is actually me petting Tessa with Odin rolling around on the ground. Those are my two kids, Everett and Kate, with me. The Tubbs Fire was the most destructive wildfire in California history, surpassed only the following year by the Camp Fire. In this shot, taken about a year and a half after the fire, you can see that the trees are still black, but the grass is coming back, lush and green. The house is gone, but rebuilding is taking place. This is the goat's pasture, and you can see the rocks where we believe Odin led the goats to to keep them safe. One of the challenges of illustrating the story for Carrie was telling the goats apart and getting their names right. To help us, Roland sent us these two photos with all the goats labeled. The most moving part of the story for me is hearing about Roland and Ariel's reunion with their beloved pets after they finally managed to get back to the ranch. Roland came alone the first time, sneaking past roadblocks. He was sure his animals would not have survived. Imagine his joy when he saw Odin's big fluffy tail wagging from behind the rocks. Then he saw the goats and even several orphaned baby deer who had lost their mothers and sought refuge with Odin. He came back the next day with Tessa and Ariel. This is a photo from that experience. Ariel is wearing a mask because of the smoke. Today, the family has rebuilt their home 
and all of the people and the animals are once again living on their beautiful beach. Hi everyone, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed getting to know Odin. If you'd like to read the book again for yourself, it's available at libraries, bookstores, and through online retailers. Thanks again and have a great day. Hi everybody, this is Odin. all the goats as they munch on their daily food running around trying to find yummy plants this is peaches you're very friendly today with your beard and this is Amun Ra and there on the rock is Daryl oh and here comes Jack Mr. Mischievous and let's see who's hiding back there Tinkerbell the smallest one hi Tink all the goats are here to say hi. You guys are interested in the phone, aren't you? This is Jojo. He's the most friendly. He acts like he's a dog. He'll leave the herd just to be with people. He's so sweet. Let's see, where did the others run off to? Oh, there's Dixon. Hi, Dixon. Where's your mom? Where's your mom? Aurora! Aurora? She might be a little shy today. Oh, there she is. Way up there. Let's see if I can get to her. What you doing? Scratching on a rock? Hi, Aurora. You up here watching to protect your babies? Hmm. Before Odin was the guardian, this poor one had to stay up late to watch over all the babies. All the babies, but it's okay. Now Odin and Tess are here. I think Tess is out here somewhere. Maybe she's watching the chickens close by but she's off doing patrols, I'm assuming. Oh, look at these two little stray chickens running back to the flock. And we have two new additions to our family. Two black belly sheep that we rescued from a property nearby. We rescued them from owners who didn't really know how to take care of them well and they were getting picked off by coyotes so we let we rescued the last two remaining there used to be nine poor things they're a bit skittish as you can see but that's Daisy Maisie so getting used to the farm hi guys <laughs> Well, this is our farm and all the chickens are over there. Our sanctuary farm. Odin, you want to say bye to your viewers? I know you have a big job to do. So I better let you get back to it. Say bye, Odin. Bye.